In today's experiment, we will focus on how to isolate rhizobium from root nodules. For this, we have fenugreek, also known as methi. So you can see that we have selected the uh, methi specifically by focusing on whether they have uh, root nodules or not. So uh, it should be clearly seen over here that uh, these are those uh, methi roots wherein you can see evident root nodules at the tips. So the first step is going to be to clean these root nodules clearly uh, with sterile distilled water so that any adherent soil or any microorganisms which might be present on that soil is going to be separated and then we will uh, use these root nodules to isolate uh, rhizobium from it. The more pink the root nodules look, it is indicative of good amount of rhizobium because that pink color is because of leg hemoglobin. So uh, we will select these root nodules, we will wash them properly. Uh, several people also do surface sterilization with mercury chloride solution, but we are basically going to wash it over here well with uh, sterile distilled water and we will give it several rounds of washing to remove all uh, the mud and soil particles that are there and then we will select a specific root nodule and begin with our process. So here you can very evidently see the root nodules which are present on the roots and we are going to separate these root nodules and uh, crush them between the two slides after they are washed well and uh, the exudate that we get out of this is what we will be using for plating on the crima agar. So these are the root nodules after several rounds of washing and now what we are going to do is we are going to crush them between two slides. So both of the slides that I am using is alcohol sterilized so that we try to reduce the contamination as far as possible and then uh, I have placed these root nodules on a drop of sterile distilled water and I am going to crush them between uh, the slides with a very gentle pressure so that the exudate comes out okay onto the slide and that exudate you could stain and at the same time you could also use that exudate for plating on the congoret agar so after you crush it there is a fluidic uh, exudate that you could see which you could use before it dries up and you can do the streaking method on crima agar so I'm observing the growth on the crima plates after around 48 hours of incubation and you could see these mucoid blubby colonies which are present. Obviously it doesn't look like a pure isolate but very mucoid and huge colonies that you could see. You could put those up, you can gram stain it and you can also pass it on uh, crima plates for further purification and uh, you could characterize if they are rhizobium or not from their morphology okay so this is how you can isolate rhizobium from the root nodules of leguminous plants